Stop causing trouble. Take your children to Muslim school. Islamic cleric states. Unrest has erupted in the city of Ilori, Kwara State, in recent days as Muslims and Christians clashed over the use of hijab in privately owned Christian school. Property has been destroyed and several people have been wounded as a result of a dispute between Christians and Muslims in Ilori, Kora State. Over the wearing of this particular attire by Muslims who wish to attend a Christian school. In order to ensure that there is justice, fairness and equality, a television station in Kwara State invited a Muslim cleric for the Yorubas. He spoke, saying that he would not be partial in speaking the fact that it is a simple thing that those not required or cause any fight and that just as there are many Christian schools throughout the state, there are also many Muslim schools. He cautioned his Muslim brothers and sisters not to allow themselves to be used by the state to foment religious strife. You cannot compel other religions to recognize your faith in other domain. There are many Muslim schools in the state just as there are many Christian schools where hijab will be welcomed without raising any eyebrow. He asked how Muslim schools would react if Christians were to start wearing their own clothes to school despite the school's standard and agreed upon uniforms for wrong and not accepted or acceptable conduct for a Muslim. Thank you for listening to this news. May God bless you, um, cleric. You see, let me tell you, my viewers, it takes a learned cleric a learned, a learned cleric to tell you that a job should be used only in an Islamic institute. It takes only a learned cleric to reveal realities without any form of biasness. Yes. But we don't know that. Instead, we choose to remain to remain compromisers. We choose to remain compromisers. We choose to be deceitful and lying. You see that? Tell me, of what gain is that going to be to you? What gain? What are you going to gain from it? What are you going to, to derive from it? Of what profit are you going to get? What? My dear viewers, all these are what we have been lamenting of. We are causing war in the States unnecessarily killing innocent people hitting each other when we are not even supposed to do so why this is a very simple issue that deserves a very simple attention but because of ignorance and illiteracy we have allowed ourselves to be used why what will you gain? I ask again. Because I'm not seeing anything to gain. 
I'm not seeing anything to gain from this crisis. The truth, the truth is what we are talking about. The truth. But we are not ready. We are not ready to tell the truth. We are not. You see that? So, just looking at all these things gives me a lot of concern. Okay. Can you compare it this way? In a situation, just like the cleric I just said, that a Christian brother attends an Islamic school and start putting on a Christian vest or a Christian wear to that Islamic institute. Are you going to accommodate that? Are you going to take that? Of course you know you, you, you won't even try to take it. Instantly, that same day, before one hour, the Muslims will, will react. They are, because the Muslims are very quick in reaction. They are very quick in reacting to issues like this. You see that? So all these things like that, like that, is what has been bothering so many Nigerians that has been making them to lament. You see that? And that is just the humble truth. My dear viewers, we don't need to fight. This issue doesn't call for fighting. It calls for peace and understanding. That's what it calls for. It doesn't call for problem. Unless you are the one that wants to cause it. Well, I would really like to hear from you from the comment section. So, if you're new on this channel, please and please deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.